13 version of it. We have saucepan, bottle, axe handle, without the axe on it. Um, the flat side of the hatchet, cutting board. Um, she split the side of my head with a hammer because I didn't hang up my coat one night. Oh my. Like she was beaten that way and she thought that was the way that you raise a child. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful for that because that helped me break and destroy that cycle with my son. So, you know, it's yes, he's disciplined. You know, I think maybe in his life, in 13 years, I might have had to spank him with my hand on his backside six times, yeah. something like that. It was, you know, if, if he just was belligerent, disrespectful with his mom or something like that, then it, it was necessary. It was out of love. I talked to him before and after. I told him I love him before and after, and I told him why before and after. And it was never out of anger. I always, because of what I've been through, I've always prayed before I have to do anything like that because I'm like, God, I don't want to, I'm not Mrs. Keys. I'm not, I'm not recycling that mess. I'm not, you know, putting that on my son. So just, just guide me through this. This is necessary. I feel like as this young man's dad, but I, I still want you to help me here. And it always ends up going the way that I'm hoping that it does. So, um, I definitely want to do more, you know, more speaking, you know, because there are, you know, unfortunately my generation, it wasn't, wasn't a lot of dads around. Um, mine wasn't. You know, my he left first. Matter of fact, my Shirley shot Fred in the side because he was beating her. And I remember. It. And he did die. Um, you know, it just kind of went in and went out. And um, and he left, which I can't blame him. Um, <laughs> you shoot me, I'm leaving too. But um, I feel like you know she was she had had enough. You know, we used to see a lot of that, and I. Kind of like my earliest memories are around three. And he was still beating on her, you know, and, and then the shooting happened and then he left and then it was just her trying to keep everything together, working at KFC, you know, car wasn't running so we had to walk back and forth every day. She hit us in the office, you know, away so nobody could see us during the day because she didn't have money for babysitter and she did her best and then she, you know, she ended up putting us into foster care. So it, you know, it was a, it was a necessary journey, and I don't mind it because it helped me be level-headed. I mean, I might not be focused on trying to help people. I might not be as appreciative or as humble as I am now, you know, and, and quick to say that hey, this ain't me, this ain't me. You know, that's the first thing I don't 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 over glorify me or if anything that you pass to me, I'm gonna deflect. That's why we built anyway. So, I definitely. Long story short, I feel like I'd love to do more of that. Um, I feel like once my third novel is done, because I wanted to polish up on that, then I'm going to do my story, Spare the Rod. And that's um, one, you know, it's biblical. Two, that's what Mrs. Keys used to say while she was beating the hell out of us. Mm -hmm. So that's, it's, it's a very appropriate title. But I think people will be very surprised with the stuff that we had to do. You know, um, somebody stole money in the house and she, made me stand, she thought it was me, so she made me stand outside naked on the porch, mm. the back porch, um, in January in Michigan in the winter, mm. in the snow, barefoot, just completely naked. Mm. Um, that was punishment. You know, that, that wasn't, that's not discipline. You don't do, you don't do a burglar like that. Mm. Well, wait, 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 well, maybe. maybe. <laughs> but, but maybe, but you don't do a child like that. Yeah. Nothing I could have done deserved that. If I did deserve the belt on my backside, then go ahead and handle that. Get you a good sturdy leather belt, which was put some oil on the belt. Matter of fact, it don't so it don't crack. So you can wear it afterwards. But don't don't escalate the situation to that. That's not there's no coming back from that. So I definitely want to talk to other kids and I do it now all the time. Um, there's a there's a detention center here in Los Angeles. It's outside of Atlanta, um, outside of Los Angeles. Um, I forget the name of it. But it's uh, up in the valley, and it's a lot of young, you know, young gangbangers, young cats that have been pressured into doing some dumb stuff that they ain't got no business doing because nobody ever said they love them. Right. Nobody ever spent any time talking about what they care about or what's important to them. So I, I try to give as much time as possible. I've even taken my son up there, you know, so they can they can hear what I've been through, so my son can see what they're going through, and they can see that you can still break the cycle and that you can still come out on top and you can do whatever you want to do. I didn't, I didn't go to school to be an actor. That was God like, okay, I know you want to sing, but I'm going I'm to do this. And, and if you follow, you're going to be blessed the rest of your life. And it's just a matter of doing that. So I'm going to be doing a lot more talking to them about that.